Choi Fat system started back to 1836, founded by the great grandmaster Chan Hyo. And um, he studied, basically, he studied with three monks from the Shaolin temples, which is uh, two monks from the southern Shaolin temple and also one monk, monk, one monk from the northern temple. And um, after he finished his training, at that time, the Shaolin temple burned down. So uh, they go around to killing the Shaolin disciples because uh, most of the Shaolin uh, disciples are part of the revolution for anti-Manchurians. So at that time, he forced to make up a name for what he teach. So in order to call himself Chen style, he gave all the credit to his teachers. So that's why Choi Li Fat, Fat means Buddha from Shaolin Temple. So Choi is the monk from Northern Cham Temple, Choi Fuk. Li is Li Yao San from Southern Shaolin Temple. And Fat is uh, another monk taught his uncle. So basically Choi Li Fat, very well known. The, I mean the techniques very famous is the Northern Fruitwood and uh, the sudden open hand, the Buddha's palm, and the sudden strong punching, the fist techniques. So after Chan Hyung uh, started teaching back to 1836, the name Choi established. After the 18 disciples opened 18 schools throughout southern China, from there on, the traditions, the teachers always back up the students open schools. So now Choi Lei is one of the biggest southern system throughout the world, and uh, especially overseas, outside China. There's a lot of Choi Lei schools all over. And myself, we have over 200 centers teach throughout the world. And um, the famous punch in Choi Lei is the strict punch called Chap Choi. You know, Chap Choi, strict punch. And also, the roundhouse punch called Sou Choi. Sou Choi. It's a hook, a hook punch. And also the back fist Kwa Choi. Kwa. And also the uppercut jong, you know. And the basic hands, of course, we have a lot of diagonal punches. A lot of techniques. You know, a lot of basic hands, you know. Uh, why we have so many techniques and open hands and closed hands? Because I found I learned from three teachers. Besides the punch and kicking techniques, there's a grabbing technique, jaw knocking techniques, you know, techniques similar to jujitsu, judo, things like that, and throwing techniques, and also we teach pressure points. Uh, set right here is the Dan Do set, or called a plum blossom broadsword. And it's a single weapon, it's the most popular uh, Chinese weapon. Is a must-learn weapon, actually. And then after you learn this one, we go into a two-person training set by the spear against the broadsword. So you learn the timing and distance and the application of those sets. And the double weapons, like the hook sword, double hook swords, the, it will balance both hands, the weight. And most people uh, use the right hand only. But this time, you left and right, you be able to coordinate used together. So the, the weapons is not just for fighting. It's part of the weight training, like the, each weapon work for the wrist, like the staff work for the muscle, the upper arm. So it's very useful besides a fighting weapon. And uh, the form right here performed this young lady. It's called um, Yi Zhong Ba Gua. Yi Zhong Ba Gua is one of the very graceful form. You can see a lot of crane techniques in there. The double crane, single cranes, and um, you can see some double tigers right there too, because uh, the Southern Shaolin Temple very well known about uh, five animal techniques, uh, snake, tiger, leopard, dragon, and crane. Fei Long Xin. See, this set's called the flying dragon set. Flying dragon fan set, actually. And uh, the purpose uh, for doing that, besides the blocking and punching, striking, is basically striking the pressure point of the human body. And um, of course, in the old days, consists uh, well, in the old days, we think it's supposed to save it for the advanced students to learn.
But for mo modern days now, we need different varieties for students to compete tournaments and exhibitions. So even the beginners, we, we teach them anyway. So it's fun stuff to learn and it's, it's, it's a lightweight weapon and easy to carry around. Actually, it's one of my favorite weapons too. And uh, when we travel, you know, a lot of times, you know, go, go out of town or in the airport, it's hard to bring weapons. Bring a fan is very easy. Okay, Mr. Dave Cater uh, invited me to do the monthly column for the Inside Kung Fu since 1986. So it's uh, six years now. And uh, all this time, we do have a lot of fans and uh, have a lot of letters asked about different questions about different training subjects, uh, especially people want to know a lot of things about body training, like iron palm training, you know, uh, body conditioning. You know, I did a lot of research, and some are my uh, notes from my previous training. Some I, you know, just go talk to a lot of old masters and find out information and do my best to the readers. So besides the monthly column, I guess um, there's a few feature articles, uh, you know, uh, about different subjects, uh, about weapons, you know, Tai Chi training, and Choi Liver training. Jane Hallander and I, we co-authors three books already, and uh, the first one is the Choi Liver Kung Fu. I have to complete the Choi Liver history, and also uh, the training forms and sets in there. And the second book is the Shaolin Five Animal Kung Fu, and that have the complete sets of the five animal sets. This set is uh, my teacher, uh, the great grandmaster Lao Ban. He learned it from his teacher's wife. So it's not a Choi Foot set, but it's a good training set. One of my favorite sets too. I used to perform that many, many times when I was young. And the recent book is the, Cho the Tai Chi Chuan's Internal Secrets. And I heard that that book uh, sells very good how they are unique. And that book has the complete Tai Chi long forms in there. And we have a very complete history of Tai Chi back to uh, 1500 years ago, all the way down to now day to my teacher. And also the Tai Chi book uh, talk about the internal secrets, which is um, how to de develop qi and use qi, apply to tai chi training. You know, things like that. Uh, other tai chi book normally uh, don't mention so much. Okay, my headquarters, my school is in San Francisco in the Sunset District. The address is 925 Terraval Street and between 19 and 20 Avenue. The phone number here is area code 415-665 2488. So anybody have any question about Choi Liver Kung Fu or the Young Style Tai Chi, you could call me and talk to me if I have the time. I'm glad to talk to you.